Hey, welcome to Butcher Bay Rejects. I'm Mark. Um, Greg, how you doing, nerds? What's up, bud? Big week? Well, yeah, big thanks, uh, Canadian Thanksgiving here. I am wearing my Butcher Bay hoodie, there and we have about roughly eight hours of programming to cover this week, starting with House of Dragon, Episode 7, Driftmark, and yep. or your favorite show, Episode 5, <laughs> The Axe Forgets. Survivor, I'll sign the divorce papers. She-Hulk, ooh, rib it and rip it. Love that. <laughs> Love that. That's my new saying now. Yep, yep, yep. Lord of the Rings, the penultimate episode, big finale next week, The Eye, and we're going to cover well, Werewolf by Night and Bullet Train by Brad Pitt. So uh, let's get into, uh, jump into House of Dragon. So uh, basically, Aemon, that little shit, steals Vagar the dragon yep. from Damon and his daughter, which is still kind of hard to believe that the dragon just didn't... Probably not even a tasty morsel for a dragon, but but whatever. That seemed to uh, start off a civil war now, as uh, as we can see what's going to happen, right? Uh, yeah, didn't you know. this show just start like holiday gone bad? Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, the biggest criticism of this episode was the uh, horrible lighting and the at the night scenes, and of yeah. course HBO is standing by their um, well, it's a creative decision, but just for goofs, I put it on my iPad and I put the illumination to 100 percent and nope still couldn't see anything <laughs> oh i mean so, uh, i didn't really did, that didn't really bother me what bothered me more was just like the the fact this show just keeps getting drowning on and just it's just like really really it's soap opera it really well, is. yeah it was a lot of schoolyards or like real housewives of king's landing when, yeah exactly well, well, you, you exactly. took my eye well i'm gonna take your son's eye no you're not Yep, yeah, I'm taking your knife and I'm going to do it. Yeah, um, yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> it was like, really? 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 Come on, we're family. You talk to me. You know, oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it was a lot of that this episode. Yeah, um, yeah. I mean, this kind of, this series really isn't living up to the original, and it's kind of like, okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, turns out the uncle's going <clears> to... <throat> Harry is niece now, so yeah, like I guess yeah, from season yeah. one, from season one, I've just or episode one, I just got the creep vibes that Damon and <laughs> Renier were going to get together, and, and well, hey, there you and, go, and they did, okay. So well, you got the creepier vibes of them in the brothel, and then yeah, now, and they, now it's they, just the the you know the really heavy handed finish. <laughs> yeah, they consummated that on the beach, and uh, then she asks her uncle for help. By even calling him uncle, okay. Ooh, maybe maybe just use his first name, okay. I would have been. I would have been. I would have been easier. Easier if he just if he called her. If he called him daddy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. More shocking news. Uh, thank God Otto Hightower's back. So uh, after the hand of the king, his former hand of the king met a fiery death. Uh, we see Otto Hightower back, Alice's yeah. father. Who, if you notice during that whole scene with the knife, he he was staying in the shadows. He wanted it all to play out. He well, only, yeah. Like, the last second, he's like, "Allison, drop the knife." <laughs> well, he, I mean, he he obviously wants the power grab, right? Yeah, yeah. What he said about the kid when the kid said, uh, "I got the dragon," you know, it was worth it. And he goes, "He goes, your your son's right. It's worth a thousand times more than the eye he lost to get Vagar, which is yeah. basically like a nuclear weapon, from what I understand." <laughs> no kidding. Yeah, mm -hmm. but I mean, but still, like you said, you know, housewives of. Uh, King's, King's Landing, Landing. yeah. <laughs> well, three uh, three more episodes left, and uh, we'll get to see how this Civil War plays out. Well, I'm pretty uh, sure we're going to time jump again. We are. I, I saw a bit of the trailer. It's about a nine-year time jump. Uh, nine-year time uh, jump. Yeah, because I saw uh, Eamon fully grown with an eye patch, looking like uh, Demented Jack. Uh, oh, Jack Sparrow. Yeah. So, yeah, cool. about, about nine years, yeah, for the next episode. Let me guess. And, and da Daenerys and, and uh, Damon are have little white haired children. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're suddenly going to forget about the other ones. You know, <laughs> yeah, what do you need them skipped over. <laughs> yeah, there's there's a little bit of yeah, some therapy is definitely needed in that family. Yep, <laughs> get some maester in there and give him a firm talking to. Right, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you want to move on to your, your other favorite show, Andor? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Well, yeah, not much again happens in this one. Uh, they're basically still setting up the heist, and uh, Andor's kind of outed uh, about his whole story, right? Because yeah. he has that expensive crystal around his neck. Like, why would you? Why would idiot would bring a million dollar piece of jewelry to a heist? You know. I don't know. Uh, like I said, I mean, this whole I story. Do, why do we need this? 
Do we I know. need to? I mean, well, the, the, the problem is that this for some reason Andor is twelve episodes. That's the problem. Whereas in you know when we give a six for Mandalorian or eight, they've got to get to it quicker, right? So right. they they've like we've got all the time in the world. We're twelve episodes. Screw you. So this is where the problem is. Because I mean, this is all leading up to the theft of the Death Star. Uh, well, well, no, because they're filming in November. They're going to be filming season two. Originally, you're not going to like this. This was planned for five years. But then uh, Tony Gilroy, the writer, spoke with Diego Luna. Are we crazy? We can't do this for five years. So so the next, the last season, season two, will be the leading up to the Death Star, really. I mean, wasn't that what... Uh... You know, wasn't that, wasn't that what Rogue One was all about? Rogue One was, yeah, the the actual heist of the Death Star plans, yes. But now, but now they're like, I guess they have to show Diego Luna's character, Cassiandor, how he becomes the guy capable of stealing. You know, I'm sure something's going to go wrong on this heist or the next heist in season two, whatever. But it'll show, I guess, why he was capable of doing that, you know, why he was chosen. And uh, yeah, so I think you're going to get a lot of fluff for this, <laughs> this season. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> But we don't, have to, we, don't, we don't have to beat this dead horse. We can move on. I know it's not your favorite. And, and like I said, not much happens in this uh, episode at all, you know. Um, yeah. Uh, what's his name? The guy, the disgraced officer, goes home to what looks like a Jewish mother. And she's... Oh, my God, yeah. Giving him some passive aggressive... I don't know. I don't know how she was playing her son. Well, clearly, this the apple doesn't fall far from the tree, right? Uh, yeah. Well, uh, <laughs> yeah, not happy with the father and... Uh... Yeah, call to call the uncle. So, don't really know. Oh, who we're gonna get your who, uncle. He's gonna get you yeah. a job. So his uncle's probably a big shot. So oh, probably. Somewhere. <laughs> Again, but, like, like I said, it's 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 another soap opera. Yeah, yeah, it's the other side of the empire we don't see, but necessarily don't want to see, right? Yeah, exactly, exactly. Like I mean, come on, really, 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 you get. Yeah, no, 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 no. Uh, okay, let's maybe move on to one you do like. <laughs> well, NECA, NEC, looks like NECA got voted out on Survivor, episode three. Yeah. Right? Everyone week saw week. that one coming. Weak link. Yeah. yeah, and again, guys, if you're not good at a puzzle, or if you, you're good at a puzzle at home, that doesn't translate to the high stakes pressure you're going to get when 10 people are screaming at you to hurry up, and Jeff's making you feel bad by his comment, you know. It's a whole other ball game, so you should really only say you know how to do puzzles if you really think you can do it. Yeah, 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 <laughs> I mean, yeah. There's so many people have been voted out because they sucked at puzzles. And here it is. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> no kidding. I mean, Survivor's based on puzzles. Yes, that's all it is. They starve you. They don't let you sleep, and now they actually force Make you to you, use your brain. Yeah, and you're, exactly. And you're not. You don't have your all your faculties there, right? So maybe sit that one out. Maybe you be the one that sits out. You know. <laughs> I mean, come on. It's it's. Uh, uh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay, let's jump into She Hulk. Something I know you liked. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, it, it was. The whole the whole thing. I mean, survivor, survivor, right? That really, really doesn't change. Everybody has their their allegiances and their their things, and it always falls apart at tribal council. Yeah, yeah, basically, or they they lead you in one way. So they spend this episode showing us how weak Gabler is, and he needs to rest, and you know, but that doesn't really go anywhere, right? That's just no, fun. no. I mean, that's they always say, oh, he's weak, he's this, he's this, he's that, and yeah. it's like. Next thing you know, somebody think, goes through his bag, and someone tells him, "Hey, that person went through your bag." That's yeah, cool. I mean, next mm-hmm. time, next thing you realize is like, okay, yeah, he's lifting a tree trunk. Yeah, he's out. Really? Yeah, you yeah. know, like, yeah. And Carla finds the beware advantage quite smartly. And says, eh, "That's you know, because she didn't want to get burned like the last guy." But then puts it back, comes back for it. She's like, "What am I crazy? Of course I'll take it." Yeah. And she's got to get the pieces of beads. The beads, from, yeah. Um, the the the. Hey, both yeah. of the both of them uh, yeah. got through the, getting those beads. Uh, pretty. Uh, yeah, it would be fun to have a camera on the uh, the real time survivors watching the show right live as it airs or well pre record, but still they haven't seen it. They didn't know what happened until the show airs, right? So it would be fun to have a camera on them going, "God damn it!" Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no kidding, no kidding. 
Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yep. On to She-Hulk. She-Hulk, rip it and rip it. God, I love that guy, Leapfrog. Please, more of him. Oh, my God, rip it and rip it. If this wasn't the name of the episode, I'd steal that for the name of our episode. Yeah. Instead, we'll have to shuttle, settle on She-Hulk smash. Uh, <laughs> let me ask you something. I know it's kind of hard. I know this is a comedy, but in much as I love seeing Matt Murdock show up, don't you? do you prefer really dark Matt Murdock or this? I know this? that was uh, that kind of like I'm, I'm torn, you know. Uh, so I'm, I mean, <laughs> okay, I'm going to put this right out. Loved the Walk of Shame. Yes, I mean, what did you ever in your in your in your wildest dreams think we're going to see She Hulk bang Daredevil and then the next day show him doing the Walk of Shame? Did you ever think? We're no, gonna see that? and it's brilliant. <laughs> it's brilliant. Yes. I loved it. I yes. so so loved it. I mean, come on, it's. <laughs> And the fact that he's kind of like smiling about it, and he's like, "Yeah, that was a good night," you know, like, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, it is so far removed from the Daredevil we know. Um, yes, you know, yeah. Matt, even Matt even kind of the. Did you see how they're they were yeah. setting up kind of like the hallway fight from the series. I know. The, guy, the gang's then, coming towards him, and she jumps out of the ceiling. You know, <laughs> Hulk smash. Him. Yeah, she Hulk smash. Yeah. <laughs> oh uh, yeah. yeah. No, no. I mean, everything about it was perfectly done because you can see matt responding in that way right yeah oh from their first encounter when he comes in and all his lawyer garb when she turns to the camera who's this asshole you yeah, know? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. perfect <laughs> yeah but then then like you 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 know and you could still still see that that sort of soft matt murdoch when he's talking to her yeah, especially when he was like doing the whole daredevil recruit kind of thing, saying, you know, you could do for them, lawyer, and when the when the law fails, she help can help them. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, so that's that's his shtick, and uh, so it's just, well, what's well, yeah, what's funny is where she didn't know who he was and gold devil. So this is kind of I think a joke at well prior to the merge, like uh, Mar Disney didn't own Daredevil, right? right? So she of course had no idea. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Daredevil yeah. was Daredevil. yet they were kind of yeah winking, winking at that I guess because yeah, 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 yeah. Even though it's East Coast, I think everyone knows who Daredevil is, right? Well, I mean, <laughs> they, you know, when when you, uh, I mean, Daredevil made big news in New York, right? You, you hear about shit from New York, yeah, you hear about well, of shit course, from LA. yeah. There's not there's Vancouver, not like sixty thousand superheroes. No, there's you know no, one no. in New York, one in there, <laughs> and especially with like a high profile person like Wilson Fisk being the center of that sort of um, news story, right? Yep. It's a big battle between Wilson Fisk and you got to think, hey, Wilson Fisk is big in New York. He's got properties everywhere, right? Yeah. So, I think. Uh, yeah, you definitely, definitely a giggle at who, who, who are you? You know, like, <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, we, we, we got a taste of good old Daredevil bouncing the Billy stick off the wall and hitting the guy, and oh my god, uh, yeah, was, yeah, we got, was, we, yeah, it's we, and you know, luckily it wasn't just a little quick minute cameo, unlike the Spider Man, yeah. you know, movie, but yeah, 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 he was the he was here the whole episode, so I'm glad. With, with one episode left. I like that he sent we'll her see, an uh, apple teeny, a green drink. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or the, or this, this top secret layer lily pad. <laughs> she, they pull oh, up to geez. it. It's got lily Latin giant Ooh. neon. She's like, of course. <laughs> oh, man. Now, who do you think is behind Intelligentsia? Well, I don't know. Either either that looked to the camera was for us or she noticed someone in the crowd because I watched it twice and I uh, couldn't really tell because, uh, you know, she turns to the camera a lot, right? Yeah. And, you know, and then the whole guy uh, on top of that, the guy uh, was uh, was his name, John, filmed their romantic encounter, kind of revenge porn, put it on the site. You know, they call her a slut. So, yeah, she was um, I thought we were going to lose her there to the dark side. <laughs> yeah, she almost she was actually doing. The, yeah, yeah, doing the growling there and snarling and everything. Um, but then, yeah, she turns towards the camera. But I don't know if that was someone she noticed or it was for us, you know. Yeah, I think, uh, well, I think she calmed down and then turned to the camera. Like, oh, fuck. Okay. So now who's going to jump in? Is it going to be damage control? Is it going to be shield? Is it going to be. Yeah. Yeah, know, exactly. Or the Avengers. Gonna, Other, well, it can't be Mark Ruffalo. He's still on a spaceship out to uh, no, no. <laughs> Planet Hulk. <laughs> uh, can, you, can you imagine a, a, 
uh, Sam Wilson appearance. Oh yeah, no, to yeah. Try and calm her down. Yeah, if that is, they've uh, they've managed to keep it a secret so far. There've been no leaks, so yeah, I'm hoping for something like that. Yeah, that would be uh, Sam or or even even uh, even Bucky, the White Wolf. Yeah, little Winter Soldier. I know what it's like to have control issues. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's what's sad is that we only got one more episode, and it's like yeah, went fast. You know. Like yeah, they, we have. Uh, I we have want two, nine. Next time, I want nine full hour episodes. Yes, yes. Or I can't. We got twelve, like Andor, for God's sakes. <laughs> yeah, we get twelve of Andor that goes fucking nowhere, and now we have and She Hulk. What we really love is just like zip, zip, yep. zip, zip, zip. Yeah, yeah. Two finales next week: She Hulk and Lord of the Rings, the Rings of Power finale yeah. also next week. Uh, I wonder yeah. if they if they did that just because of her CG that they had to cut it down to half hour episodes in order to make it fin- fiscally uh, manageable could be um but then again, could it's be. disney money come on yeah well we'll we'll talk about yeah disney money when we get to werewolf by night i do have a comment about that but um <laughs> let's dive into lord of the rings so okay. they didn't uh yeah that was not all that wasteland red wasteland yeah red was not cg at all that was no. all <laughs> they did that all of course they had the budget but yeah we see the aftermath of uh Mordor. You know, Mount Doom and Mount Mount Yeah Southlands being erased from the map. It's now Mordor, of course. Uh, yeah. We see the uh, uh, dwarf king reject the elves, you know, request for Mithril mm-hmm. quite harshly. Yeah. Um, I'm, but I'm pretty sure the sun in the next episode's going to find a way. Yeah. Do you think that uh, monster was down there? That was Balrog. <laughs> Uh, was it Balrog? Yeah, that was Balrog. Okay. Remember the the is it uh, rock or rog? Or I'm, oh no, Balrog. Balrog. I'm th- okay, I'm thinking of a uh, Street Fighter too. I'm getting confused. Okay. Yeah, the Balrog. <laughs> okay. But um, no, no. Remember, remember in uh, when they in the original movie when they pass through the mines of Moria, uh, they said, you know, one of the one of the hobbits asked, "What happened here?" And Gandalf said they dug too deep to only to find there are, oh, okay. there are things I, in the deep that uh, should not have been, you know, unsettled. And then okay, so yeah, they dig too de- they dig too deep for Mithril, and then um, you know Balrog comes shooting up and destroys uh, Carad Dune. Okay. Um. Yeah, it was pretty uh, pretty good. I mean, not as good as the last episode last week, but you know no. we need a bit of a breather because the survivors are pulling themselves out of. Well, you need you need one of those. That's a, that was yeah. an emotional ep- episode. That was kind of like, you know, yeah. you you just took a, a gut punch. Now yeah. what are you going to do? You know. Yeah, Queen Regent goes blind. Uh, we find out. Well, everyone's accounted for except for the son of um, Isildur. Is yeah, that's right. Yeah, he's buried under under a shack. Yeah, that's right. So we don't know but if he's he, dead or alive. But no, the horse is going back for him. Yeah, did you see that? Yeah, it's like a Tonto and Silver kind of relationship there. <laughs> Lone Ranger and Silver. Oh yeah, sorry. Well, Tonto, I think borrowed it every now and then. All I know is the Lone Ranger was always sending Tonto to town, and then when he got to town, the white people would kick the spit out of him. So that's all I remember from that show. <laughs> Tonto, you go to down. You go to hell, no longer. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Quote a little Bill Cosby there. That's right. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, but Numenor is still sticking by their, their guns. Uh, the queen is uh, not playing the old, you know, pathetic little blind woman now. She's no. like, boy, did they make a mistake. Of course, it'll take 3,000 years to rectify that mistake. Yeah. But whatever, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and now Isildur's father is a very, very... Uh, He's a little distraught. A little mm-hmm. distraught. He's a yeah. little distraught. But then, I mean, obviously, Isildur comes back because, hey, he's the one that cuts off the ring, right? Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, it's funny, funny we know where it's going. <laughs> yeah. All these prequels, we know where it's going. Although their people are upset because when Galadriel mentions her husband Celeborn, he's still alive at that time, so she's applying that he's dead, so, I mean, your Tolkien fanatics went screaming over that one, oh, but yeah. again, someone who's not heavily invested, you know, that just goes over my head. Yeah, same here. Same here. 
No, I've seen I've seen some people just like, yeah, but they, 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 they. I, said, I don't care. <laughs> yeah, they won't even watch. It. Actually, they won't even watch it. Who I who I want to see more of are the quote unquote weird sisters. These like rogue, I don't know, Jedi. They're like so fucking fun to watch and compelling. I can't wait to see them cut loose. You know, like well, I mean, they, they destroyed the the Harfoots. Uh... Yeah, yeah, they could have could have killed the Harfoots. We're like, no, we'll just take their carriages. <laughs> yeah, but their carriages were full full of all the food that. No, yeah, I, I know. Uh, no, I know. But from three evil sisters, I figuring they'd kill some of them. You know what I mean? No, yeah, it was a naughty move, but you know what I mean. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, I would have minded them killing a few of those Harfoots. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, of course, now they're going to go after. Uh, whatever 50 percent say he's gandalf or whatever they're going after the tall man yeah so. <laughs> yeah yeah we'll see what we'll see what he what he becomes yeah. i mean it would uh, make sense that it's gandalf because gandalf always week. had a soft spot for hobbits you know if this is the original hobbits and it's like yeah the fact that he looks like a younger version of them you know exactly so, okay <laughs> oh boy yeah yep 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 Anyway, <laughs> anyway, let's move on. Move on to some uh, werewolf by night. Werewolf so, by night. I liked it. I liked the whole black and white thing. I could have used thought, a two-hour uh, movie. Yeah, but I mean, I, I like the fact that it was. Uh, I like the way they did it. I, you know, a good nod to the old horror, yeah, horror from films the, of the yeah the hammer the hammer horror films yeah. right. I mean, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And of course, they gave me more than I thought. Like I love the comic man thing. Like I, I don't know why I was drawn to that comic when I was a kid, and I read it and read did it. Did we know man it. thing was going to be in this? I did, but they just showed a snippet of him in the trailer. Blink and you'll miss it. So, but I thought really that's all I was going to get, you know. But to find out, and he's played by Carrie Jones, who does Black Kersantan on Book of Boba Fett. Yeah. And it was mostly, it wasn't all CGI. They really, like, I, I dug Put into it. Put him in a it. suit and, uh, yeah. yeah. I mean, the detailing on that suit was incredible. Oh, it was well done. From his acid touch there, I was like, oh my God, this is incredible. So, if anything, I really liked it for Man Thing because I thought they, like, this is my comment about Werewolf by Night, but you and they have Disney money. They totally gypped out on showing us the transformation. They showed a bit of the hand and they cut away and they show the shadow. I think, I think that was so, more. I was. I think that was more of a nod to. Um, yeah, it was, to, but to, to, the, to the old old. Thing. I know, I mean, but, but this is a good. This is the perfect time. It's 2022 to make us forget. You know, uh, the, um, the the two good werewolf movies we have, uh, what directed by uh, what's his name, John Landis. I just can't remember the name of the movies, but you, you know what I mean. Um, American. Where they, where yeah, American Werewolf in London, right? Which at the time was pretty good for the '80s, but so I was expecting yeah, a full blown. This would have been the first one. Of, what was the other one? Uh, Wolf with uh, Jack Nicholson. Uh, no, no, before that, I just can't. It might be Wolfen. Uh, I can't remember it, but but this would have been the time, right? Just yes, I I get it. Yes, because in the old days they would cut to the shadow on the wall, right? By by candlelight, yeah, yeah. and that's the way they get out of it. I think no. I think it was a nostalgia nod, and like, mm -hmm. you know, if Werewolf by Night comes back, then we'll probably see a, uh, which I'm assuming they are because I think they're they, they're planning the Midnight Suns. Uh, well, yeah, the well, the timeline people are guessing because of the dates in the crypt, uh, it was sometime after '86 actually in the MCU timeline that this is going on. So, but okay. these guys uh, are, are ageless, right? So uh, yeah, he's he's still around and. Of course, man thing, Ted. Yeah. <laughs> Ted. Yeah, call still him around Ted. too. <laughs> His name is but, Ted. Call him Ted. Yeah, no, but I, uh, yeah, I just, it just made me want, want more, you know? Well, uh, I think that's, that's what they want you to have is want more. They, they, there's going to be a lot of, they want to see fan reaction, right? Well, so. they, they also said, uh, I just read an article, they wanted it an hour because they were all, they all love the holiday specials that, you know, Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown, and even the yeah, Christmas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they wanted something to be watched every Halloween. So this is why they chose, you know, just under an hour format. Yeah. Well, I think I think there's going to be a lot more. I mean, if they're going mystic with the Midnight Suns, obviously he's going to play a part in that. Um, any future Doctor Strange, of course, could he could pop in at any time, especially if him and Man Thing are 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 together, right? And so you know, you need somebody's help from. The yeah, mystic where, where, side. Yeah. I know where, of someone. You where know, are they the, going to eat? Where are they going for sushi? Come on. I mean, <laughs> see man thing and a werewolf roll up to your diner? I don't know. 
Yeah, but he's mm-hmm. werewolf once a month. Come on. Let's... <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, but I, uh... No, I liked uh, it. The action was fantastic. The fighting was great. Yeah. Elsa oh, was. was just a kick-ass all yeah, over. Yeah, she, she was. Yeah, I'd like to see more of her, too. Yeah, so, uh, if we see more of her, she's going to be aged. Well, yes. maybe the Bloodstone yeah. will keep her from aging. Elsa Who Bloodstone, knows? yeah. Well, yeah, because that Bloodstone has quite the, uh, quite the properties, I Yeah, mean, so... <laughs> So who knows? Who knows? But it'll be uh, definitely fun to see. I mean, I, I liked it. I mean, at first it was like the old old look was kind of like, uh, but then when they got got going and they got uh, and they were pushing forward, I'm like, okay, yeah, yeah, this is working. This is working. I mean, yeah, it would be fun to see this in full IMAX color. You know. Yes. Vivid, just 4K wonderfulness, but. Uh, yeah. yeah, this works. Yeah, it's, the Bloodstone gives you yeah increased strength, speed, stamina, agility, reflexes, and senses to superhuman levels. <laughs> uh, well, make you Wolverine. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. All right, want to get in some bullet train? Yes, I do. Starring Brad Pitt. Now, let me just say, you can chime in. The only thing I liked about this movie was spotting the superhero and villain. So, in no order, we have The Vanisher, Quicksilver, General Zod, Storm Shadow, Domino, Katana slash Kimiko, and Deadpool, all in this movie. Other than that, yeah, I didn't really (laughs) find it. uh, This action comedy worked for me. I think I would rather have seen it a hard R action movie, all aboard a train, but I don't know. What'd you think? Well, I mean, it it reminded me of like one of those Tarantino movies where you got a million plot stories going on all at once, and they all overlap. Kind of like Pulp Fiction. Uh, yeah, yeah, because there was a lot of um, interlacing, right? And, yeah, well, yeah. it was all interlaced, right? So, I mean, I didn't mind it. I thought they had had a had a. Quite a few good things. I mean, you know, well, Levin, cameo, Levin and Tangerine the, were, yeah, were hysterical. The, the, yeah, the Channing Tatum cameos only because of that awful movie, Lost City of D. So where Brad Pitt is basically a cameo in that movie. Yeah, so yeah. Channing Tatum. And of course, the money shot, Ryan Reynolds. That was Ryan Reynolds paying back Brad Pitt for his cameo in Deadpool 2. And the director yeah. even told Ryan Reynolds, well, you kind of owe Brad Pitt a cameo. And he's like, yeah, okay, yeah. you're right, you're right. <laughs> And but Brad Pitt had to do a whole day. All Ryan Reynolds had to do was look, turn to the camera, and look pretty, you know. Whereas but that was Brad that Pitt, was funny. Uh, Fucking well, hate yeah. Carver. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> now, I wonder if we're gonna get a Carver movie. <laughs> well, there's, there's more there. Uh, I guess. Well, maybe, exactly. Buddy, 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 maybe those with, two right? together would be great. I mean, yes, if this was a Ryan Reynolds Brad Pitt action comedy romp, yeah, then for sure. That might have saved it because you only yeah. really see Sandy Bullock at the end. She's, yeah. uh, she famously had to replace Lady Gaga who had to drop out of filming. So Sandra Bullock. Yeah, stepped in. Because Brad Pitt agreed to do her movie. She owed Brad. <laughs> Seems like everyone's paying favors. In- <laughs> 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 oh, Brad Pitt. God damn it. He helped me out in Lost City of D. <laughs> well, you know what? Like I said, I, th- I think what, one, it was it was spectacularly shot. The visuals were fantastic. Um. The action was good. I mean, there was good, good, really good fights. Yeah, yeah, but there's no like I can't point to any favorite scene of mine. I I can't. No, no. I, I mean, it wasn't. It wasn't. Uh, it was. It was. It was definitely just a popcorn movie. You can just sit there and yeah, zone out bo- while you're watching. It wasn't boring. You know. No, 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 not at all. Uh, I think mean, I liked sort of Brad Pitt's obliviousness of who's what and where and why and how and. He's just filling in, you know, he's not supposed to be there today. You know, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, <laughs> it, I mean, it, it had, it had plenty, it had plenty of, uh, plenty to play with. So, I mean, I think they could, uh, they could take some of these characters and streamline it into something interesting, you know? Yeah, I wouldn't mind seeing The White Death, like a prequel movie, that's for sure. Yeah, or even just, you know, after that, Brad Pitt and Carver coming across each other and, you yeah. know, and everybody else having little cameos in it. That's right, yeah, exactly. You know, like, uh, get Tangerine in there with a truck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, but it was just like, like the interlacing of everything was kind of kind of fun. You didn't know it was them at the time right so yeah exactly 
So, I mean, it, 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 it I, I guess you could say it was very well written to incorporate that many storylines and kind of stitch it all together into, into one little thing, into one movie. So kudos to that. But, uh, yeah. yeah, other than that, you know, it's, 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 it's forgettable. It's like, yeah, I, yeah, I remember I, it was good. It was okay. I don't remember I much I'd from it, it, but it was again, like, but you know, yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. All right. Let's get into some entertainment news. So yeah. undoubtedly you saw the mini trailer for Vox Machina season two yes. that's coming out in January 23 and yes. already renewed for season three. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. I have been uh, trying to find uh, their 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 New York Comic Con panel somewhere, but I think it's behind uh, a paywall, and I'm like, you bastard! Well, I think someone will put it up eventually. I'm I hope so. Sure. I hope someone, so. Someone filmed it. <laughs> yeah, because I mean, you know, I I love watching these guys. These guys are fantastic, and you know, little little uh, shoot off from from that, uh, you know. Critical roles: uh, Travis Willingham and Laura Bailey voice Lois Lane and Superman in the newly released Batman Superman Battle of the Super Sons. When's what? that out? It's out now. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, it's out now. I can send it to you if you'd like. <laughs> no, wait till we get really uh, we're really hurting for uh, shows. <laughs> But it's basically it's basically a Superboy Robin team up. Okay, yeah, it's when it's when it's when it's when Superboy realizes his father is Superman and introduces him to Damien, and he's like, "I'm in the Batcave! Oh my god!" You know, like he's just got his power, so he's just kind of like freaking out, and he's okay. like a superhero, and he's all like, you know, that that super enthusiastic fanboy kind of feel. Yeah, <laughs> and then Rob, Robin. Robin hits him in the head with a batarang going, I guess he's not uh, indestructible. <laughs> you know, that kind of, mm-hmm. uh, that kind of introduction to each other. So it's kind of, uh, it's It's going to have that kind of fun to it. But uh, yeah, Travis Willingham and, uh, and Laura Bailey of Critical Role voice Superman and, uh, and Lois Lane. So it's like, there you go. All right, we also got the new official Black Panther trailer last week. And yeah, clearest, clearest look at Ironheart yet, but uh, so a totally different vibe from the first uh, trailer where yeah. uh, they were basically and we, 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 death. we very much know Shuri is the new Black Panther. Yeah, you can deny it all you want, but uh, that's undoubtedly her under that you know in that costume. Uh, mm-hmm. So now, do you think on? it's one of those? Um. They bestowed it upon her, or because you got to take the plant and you got to do the thing and you got to, right? Yeah, or, exactly. Or do you think she just went ahead and did it? It's like, yeah, we need a Black it's, Panther. Yeah, it's fifty fifty, or you maybe, know. or maybe they're they were losing the battle and they have no choice, right? So, yeah, it's, exactly. It's one of those, you know, they you inject yourself with the secret serum, or or else you know everybody's gonna die. Yeah, <laughs> you know. Yeah, so. exactly. Yeah, it's um. Well, yeah, we'll we'll find out on November eleventh. Yeah. <laughs> Black Panther hits the theaters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got Black um, Adam coming up soon. Yeah, October twenty uh, first, but also Picard season three trailer from um, I believe the New York Comic Con also came out. So we find out who the villain is, and well, you watch Next Generation, so I don't know, but Amanda Plummer apparently is reprising her role as. Uh, I actually I didn't get a chance to see that trailer. Oh, yeah, it's on there. It just came out. And, of course, even Jordi LaForge's daughter now works for, Enter- you know, for the... On the Enterprise? Works for the, the Enterprise? Enterprise. Yeah, like, the, the Enterprise is a company, uh, right? I like... mean, the, feder- the Federation. <laughs> 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 so all this, all this uh, pop culture talk, but uh, like, somehow... Each starship is its own car- corporation, and we hire the best. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> you want, yeah, you, so... You want the best, you work for the Enterprise. Yeah, and, and that trailer, uh, they finally reveal who, who, um, who. Well, we're not gonna get. Why am I drawing a blank on his name? Who's the robot? <laughs> Data. Data. Brent Spiner is playing Lore, so that's revealed in in the trailer, and 
some other things uh i'll let you watch but yeah, yeah I'll that's watch it. Uh, yeah, yeah that's yeah. uh coming out february 16 so got some time yeah Let's say 2024 and 2025 are looking out to be uh, some uh, big... Uh... In 2023 and 2024? Yeah, you know what I mean. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. Okay. But I was just <laughs> checking. I, I, yeah, like I said, I write them all down. I got all the... Well, I think in in there's, some, there's some stuff slated for 2025 too, right? Like they all... Yeah, yeah, I have that. I Yeah, I went. I actually put that on, on my list, but yeah, that's... I'm uh, looking forward uh, to that. That's Nova. on page three. I want okay. to see, see what Nova is going to be about because... I hope they yeah, do that one right. I'll reserve my judgment for the actor they chose until I see if he can pull it off. <laughs> Who'd they choose? For Richard Ryan? Like a comedian. A uh, English comedian who's only been known to be skinny, but apparently he bulked up for this. But yeah, not my choice at all. I would have rather have seen a Zac Efron in there, but whatever. Yeah, is Richard I'll reserve Ryder? judgment. Yeah, Zac Efron, he's a little short, though. Yeah, he's the last person you think would have been chosen, but they said, eh, that this guy. Jeez, I go he's to Quebec funny. City for he's one day, I fun. miss all this. Yeah, he's funny in other movies, but, you know, I don't see it. Anyway, I had, Nova's one of my favorites, too, so I'm pretty uh, protective of that guy. <laughs> well, I mean... And the, you, and the look. Okay. You you want you want Nova to show show up because then you want the new Warriors to come around, too, right? So it's like... Yeah. You know, you want to build super teams? You gave Guardians of the Galaxy a shot. New Warriors, come on. We're introducing yeah. Namor, so Namorita can't be far behind. You know, but, um, little Night Thrasher, yeah. Firestar. We're bringing mutants in. We can put this together. Well, this case, it's well. He's Will Poulter is playing Adam Adam Warlock, but yeah, yeah. I mean, he's uh, you know he did he's basically, but he did he did the whole Maze Runner movies, but but you know he did were, were the Millers there with Jennifer Aniston, well, yeah. and Sudeikis. I mean, I don't know if you remember him, but yeah, he's mainly a comedy guy, right? Yeah, a comic relief guy, but. But we'll see. I won't. Uh, I won't badmouth them until I really see the movie. <laughs> Will Poulter's playing Richard Ryder. Well, that, well, Adam Warlock. I think they're going with the Adam Warlock Nova. Adam Warlock was never Nova. Well, he's playing him in Guardians of the Galaxy. If you go to his IMDb, he's playing Adam Warlock in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Three. So either someone's wrong on Wikipedia. Yeah, but Adam or- Warlock was never a Nova. Then how can he play Nova and Adam Warlock? Then the same actor is what I'm saying. There's oh. a discrepancy here somewhere. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking right at his credits. So, but at any rate, I don't. Uh, you know, he's not who I would chosen, but you know, <laughs> we'll see. Even though he's an avid supporter of Arsenal FC, I don't care. <laughs> I'd rather see him in Ted Lasso. <laughs> at any rate. That's all I got, bud. I got a Thanksgiving it out of here, and um, that's it for me. All right. Well. Oh, you didn't do the recording yet? Okay, so we're going to. No, no, okay. do it after. Maybe next, next one. Oh, okay, got it. All right. So See, just you just goodbye. screwed that. <laughs> and take two. <laughs> so, everyone, that's all that's it for me. That's all I got. How about you? <laughs> this has been Butcher Bay Rejects. I'm Mark. I'm Greg. Talk to See you next later. time. Bye. Bye. You can find us on all our social media. You can search Butcher Bay Rejects on YouTube, at Bay Rejects on Twitter, at Butcher Bay Rejects on Facebook, as well as at Butcher Bay Rejects on TikTok. You can also find us on our website, ButcherBayRejects.com. And you can find us on all the podcast platforms, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, Amazon Music, Alexa TuneIn, iHeartRadio, and Pandora. Thank you for listening, and tune in again.